All right, I think we're at the sixth video on this Subaru 2015 WRX. There was five or six videos before this, all short clips of the problems with the leaks of the O-rings, uh, the leak with the front shaft seal on the compressor, <clears throat> that it took 500 grams of refrigerant. It's now charged. It's been running for about eight minutes now, starting to stabilize, not there yet. Uh, not a terribly hot day. It's only... Uh, a little uh, outdoor bulb sensor 77 degrees or so and actually it's about 65 degrees we're getting up because i'm only taking the temperature from here i'm not doing it accurately by getting the temperature all the way out here away from the hot engine heat uh sitting under the sun the vehicle is in the sun and so here is the normal standing pressures and temperatures i have it in recycle mode that means i'm not taking this hot engine heat from right here where the hot engine heat is coming from the radiator over and I don't have the windows open because I was trying to hit minimum temperature just to see where it goes and on this vehicle its program kicks out the clutch at 43 degrees under these ambient conditions now I'm going to open up and I'm going to load up the evaporator Let's load up the open up the doors and windows or at least the doors take it off recycle mode so now I'm going to take that hot engine heat off there, which on a cool day is not too hot. So let's see if we could drive the low side up, drive the high side up. And it does not cycle under these conditions right now. If this was in a shop and it was like 57 degrees and there was no sun in a shop and the car was sitting overnight, uh, that clutch would be kicking on and off right now. But right now, because there's a little bit of load on it, black car, black interior, sitting in the sun, it's enough to keep it at idle where it, it's a steady temperature, steady pressures. So as you can see, the, the low side went up a little bit. The high side went up a little bit. That's at idle. Unfortunately, there's nothing for me here to grab and show you this. And I don't have my laptop to uh, show you, so... You're not gonna get to see me raise the RPM and see what happens, but what happens is that once I get the RPMs up to around 1500 RPMs and it goes for a few minutes, the temperature starts going back down, the high side starts going up a little bit, the low side goes down a little bit, not as much as it was with the doors and windows closed and on recycle. And it meets its um, set temperature at the higher rpm right now under these ambient conditions that i explained and it'll start cutting out the compressor with a higher rpm when it satisfies right now under these ambient conditions it cannot satisfy so remember i think a, a day or a week ago i had another subaru that the clutch was constantly cutting in and out because i charged it up inside a shop the subaru was sitting overnight so the engine was cold everything was cold there was no sudden load, so it was really easy for it to get to its set point and below, and it kept cutting in and out every 30 seconds or something like that. That was in a previous video on another Subaru. Uh, this shop has a tendency to get a lot of Subarus, and so uh, it's always nice. If you have Subarus, you want to go to a shop who works on a lot of Subarus. There's actually shops who don't like working on Subarus. And um, so this is Pat's Garage in San Francisco. So anybody lucky enough to live around San Francisco or in pa San Francisco and you got a Subaru, you want to seek out shops who have a heavy volume of Subarus. And I can tell you this is one of them. Uh, they also have a lot of hybrids and electric cars. So this place was one of the shops way back when Google had their fleet of Priuses. What was that? 10, 15 years ago. And they put in those... Um, battery uh, abc one two three batteries from china and they were doing the conversion kits before prius ever had a plug-in hybrid they were making extended battery packs and putting them in at this shop for the google fleet of google cars that were going around doing the mapping so this shop definitely has the experience with hybrids and especially the priuses all right guys i'll see you again uh, I'm at Pat's Garage, and uh, this is a good garage to work at. If any of you guys were starting out and ever wanted to start at a car that had a very good reputation and uh, a lot of computers and believes in reading and education and getting the job done right, this is one of those few, few shops. All right, guys, I'll catch you later.